Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here with breaking news and information reporting for Infowars.com. Now, as you know, a few days ago in Oregon, there was another tragic shooting, 10 people dead. The man uh, who shot uh, and killed at least 10 people on Thursday openly asked people if they were Christians, just like Columbine, and if they said yes and wouldn't recant their faith, killed them. But there is almost no corporate mainstream media reporting on that fact. It's buried in local newspapers. Imagine if someone went in and asked if they were, quote, gay, and then shot them if they were. You would have guilt being projected onto all libertarians, all conservatives, all Christians, as if we had committed the crime. But instead, it's being covered up. Just like the racist, crazy black guy shooting the white reporters. Uh, and then that got swept under the rug. This is all part of the larger social engineering. But in a chilling development, President Obama, in multiple speeches, has said, we need to look at solutions, not just more legislation, but solutions like Australia and the UK had. Well, those solutions in the 90s were total gun confiscation. In fact, the real Crocodile Dundee, this was in the NRA magazine over a decade ago, the real Crocodile Dundee that the movie was based on, famous trapper, famous outdoorsman, refused to turn in his guns and the police came and killed him in his home. He shot three of them. But this is where gun confiscation goes, is into firefights. And this is the type of civil war they want to start. They project this guilt onto gun owners for mass shootings that kill 167 people a year on average. 167 people out of 330 million people. It's one of the rarest forms of death, a mass shooting. 11,000 die a year and change, sometimes 12,000 from guns. Most of them are suicides. Then the next statistic, look it up, is cops shooting criminals. Then it's citizens shooting criminals. Way down there at the bottom is criminal shooting citizens. That's the truth. We're an armed society. And here it is from Breitbart. Obama goes beyond mere gun control, hints at confiscation. And then it's got his quotes here saying we need to do basically what our friends and allies have done, Great Britain, Australia, and others like it. And so he goes into uh, talking about going beyond legislation. Shifting gears, talking about weapons in the hands of, quote, good guys. I'm not saying the Russians are perfect, but compared to ISIS or Al-Qaeda, they are the good guys. They're being attacked. Their only warm water port in the, in the Mediterranean is being attacked. Syria is being attacked. They're being attacked by IS-type terrorists in Tajikistan and in uh, other areas south of Russia, uh, places like Chechnya. So the Russians have gone in and are actually targeting al-Nusra, which is al-Qaeda, which is the command group of ISIS. And they're also targeting ISIS, and they're releasing uh, the drone footage of those successful attacks taking place. Our government on record funded all the radical Islamists to go into that area. There are no moderate rebels. They're trying to turn Syria over to Saudi Arabia that already conquered Syria in the last century. So they've taken Syria before. Let's go to this article. Russian Air Force destroys terrorist command center, says the defense ministry, and releases the video and says that they have hit at least 20 times, 20 sorties against Islamic State. You can see the photos, the video, uh, all of it. It should be American pilots there uh, bombing Al-Qaeda. And of course, I made a big deal about this on Friday because it was a huge deal. I showed everybody Reuters reporting on it where it openly admitted Reuters that Al-Nusra is the name of Al-Qaeda in Syria and that the Russians' first target they hit uh, on Wednesday of last week with more than 30 attacks was Al-Nusra command bases and they actually said, which is an Al-Qaeda group. And so our government criticized Russia for striking Al-Qaeda. This is how upside down all of this has gotten 14 years after 9-11. But the truth is we went after Iraq for 9-11 when Saudi Arabia has been proven to have been involved with our government. So they used the attacks of 9-11 to go after Iraq to destabilize the whole Middle East and then the very people involved in it are now have proxy wars taking over. Let's shift gears now out of that situation is something I warn pregnant women about all the time because I know families this has happened to in Austin. I know families across the country that have told me about it and sent me their horror stories. About a third of the marijuana tests they give pregnant women turn out to be false positives. But so what if a woman has been smoking marijuana? 
Is it better to take their kids away from them? And now it's back in the news up on Infowars.com. New mothers tested for drugs without their consent by some Alabama hospitals. A woman who tested positive for drugs in a hospital can be arrested, and they take your children away. That's from all gov. And you can go read that story at Infowars.com. And the reason I'm just bringing that in here is showing how there's a whole predator system while the government ships in the majority of the drugs, the big banks launder the drug money, that women aren't being told when you go in to have a baby at a hospital, they're going to test you for more than 15 drugs from prescription to illegal. And then they're going to ask you, do you have a prescription for this? Or why are you smoking marijuana? They're not reading you your rights. They're not telling you that they're working with the police, that they have a health department computer terminal, that they're entering all that data in. They're not telling you when they send your husband into the next room to fill out paperwork that when they ask you, you got enough money, honey? He treats you nice, honey? That they're about to put that in a health department report to send CPS to take your kids. Just like they announced if Social Security recipients direct transfer their money, they're now going to be declared incompetent and have their guns taken even though they pressure you to do automatic wire transfer. This is the type of stuff that's just going on in this police state. And then finally, mothers don't have a right with their children to say no to vaccines, according to government, but trans-able, this is a serious story at Infowars.com with serious national television promoting it about how wonderful it was that this woman wanted to be blind, and so she poured Drano in her eyes, and the psychologist helped pour it in her eyes, and it's so beautiful. And shouldn't taxpayers pay for, for people that are, that are going to be on full disability because they had perfect sight and wanted to be blind? And now, if you have sight, does that hurt someone else's feelings? Because they say if you're transgendered, then someone being a father or a mother or a boy or a girl or he or she might hurt you because you're not a he or she, you're a whatever you think you are that day. Maybe a box, maybe a dog, maybe an Eiffel Tower, maybe an Easter Bunny, maybe a Keebler Elf, maybe a, a Wombat. I don't know. It's just whatever you want. Everyone has to then follow your lead and do whatever you say and, oh my gosh, you're the boss. It's social control. But now, what if other people have sight and you don't? Should we gouge everyone's eyes out to make us equal? It's now reaching that insane point. When Jewel Shumping had a psychologist pour drain cleaner in her eyes to blind her, the reason she gave was precisely the same justification given by transgender people who have their genitals surgically removed. And of course, now the new move is make this taxpayer funded. You can go see the interview with her. We can play more of it coming up uh, here in, in, in future reports with a straight face, with straight news, like this is a good thing, and you're closed-minded if you don't accept it. You're not cool. I went blind on purpose, but I don't feel it was a choice. There you go. And then it's just how sexy, how cool. So we're given all these faux rights while our basic rights are being taken away. All right, that's it for this update report. Alex Jones signing off for now for InfoWars.com. This is a hardcore globalist takeover to destabilize humanity. Wake up to it. Get involved. Say no to it. And continue to spread the word about alternative independent media that transcends left and right and is just about preserving human dignity, human liberty, and empowering everybody. But to empower everybody, you got to have free will. You got to have some winners, some losers, and you got to have free association to choose in the free market what you like, what you believe, and then the great people together will vote through our actions to build a better world. That's the system I stand for free will, free association, the new renaissance, 21st century and beyond.